So if you have an E46, you have probably dealt with the cooling system in one way or another. One of the common problems is that the car will slowly lose coolant over time and you won't be able to find out where the leak is. So uh, I'm going to start with what I think is the most common leak and then I'm going to tell you what other places to look. Okay, so this is the uh, coolant temperature sensor o-ring. As you can see it's cracked. I'm going to tell you how to replace this guy. This is the first thing you should do because it's so cheap. Okay, so you go down in here. This is the coolant temperature sensor. We pull the electrical cord off and now we just have this temp sensor right there. But we don't want to do it yet. We want to go over to our coolant cap and let some air into the system. Okay, now tighten that back up or you're going to leak coolant on the ground. Now we can go in here and pull this temp sensor out. As you can see, to get it out, it's just these two clips. Push them in. That's my new O-ring. It's already on there. The old O-ring is uh, right here. And here is the part number. Now, you use a O-ring pick tool to take it off. Put the new one on. Put this sucker back in. So put it in like that. You can see that it slides into the slides right in down there so we're gonna go ahead and put it in okay you can you can feel it clip in and that's it you lose you know just a little bit of coolant put the electrical connector in clip it in okay it's clipped in now go over here check our coolant level see we didn't really lose anything so we're good we're gonna go ahead and leave that uh, now just in case you have lost coolant you have your 50 50 mix of BMW antifreeze over here Okay, now I'm going to talk about where you should look if that doesn't solve your coolant loss problems. One thing to check for is a white crusty residue. Okay, so there's the white crusty residue. So you can check around all the hose connections for that. The hose connections are really easy to connect. They just go in and then snap on with a little clip. Here's another problem area. This would be a future problem. This hose was getting power steering fluid dripped on it. So as you can see, it's ballooning out at the connection. So I replaced that before it became a problem. The water pump has a bunch of shaft play in it. And also another thing is that the stock water pump pulley is made out of plastic. So I replaced it with a metal one. Those are a few coolant issues that you might have. That's pretty much it. Enjoy your car.